This is Celebrity Thursdays. Every Thursday, we present you with another celebrity. Today, we're looking at 15 things you didn't know about Gal Gadot. Welcome to ALUX.com, the place where future billionaires come to get informed. Hello, Alexers. It's time to wrap our heads around and finally talk about one of the most beloved actresses in Hollywood, Gal Gadot. I mean, we've all seen Wonder Woman and how great of a performance she's done, but it's time to dig a little deeper and see what else there is to know about everyone's newfound love, Gal Gadot. She was born in Israel and grew up there with a loving family and one sister, Dana. Her parents are also from Israel and once had the surname of Greenstein and changed it to Gadot, making her of Jewish descent. Being 5 foot 10, 178 centimeters, she's always been in sports, but went for law and international relations in college at IDC Herzliya, which is a newfound university in Tel Aviv, based on the model of the American Ivy League universities. She began acting in college and quickly developed a taste for it. It all began with small parts in Date Night or Fast Five until 2016 when she was cast as Wonder Woman in the superhero movie Batman vs Superman Dawn of Justice. And that was just the beginning of the Gal Gadot madness. She's now one of the most successful actresses in Hollywood, on the covers of all kinds of magazines, in ads and all kinds of top lists. If you're new here, welcome. Be sure to subscribe and follow us on Instagram at Alux. So, we're going to fill you in on some of the unknown things about her and see if she really is a Wonder Woman material after all. Let's go. Number 1. She served two years in the Israeli army. Even without training in Hollywood magic, you have to admit that Gal looks amazing. She's tall, beautiful, married, has two children. She seems like she has it all. She was always active as a child and used to play basketball in high school because she's tall, but she also served in the military. Yes, she was in the real army. In fact, all Israeli citizens have to undergo a two-year military service program, and that includes Gal. She served as an enlisted soldier in the Israel Defense Forces and also as a combat instructor. Due to her time in the army, she learned discipline, respect, and how to use guns, something useful for an actress that goes for challenging roles. She admitted that her military background did help her land Giselle in Fast and the Furious and her role as Wonder Woman. Number 2. She used to be a model and won Miss Israel in 2004. Besides military service and sports, what else could she have done before acting? Yep, you guessed it, modeling. When you're as tall and beautiful as Gal Gadot, agencies must pile up at your door to sign you with them. At least we know that Israel models are very popular. Take a look at Bar Raphael and Esti Ginsburg. When Gal does something, she usually goes for the top, exactly what she did with modeling as well. As a model at only 18 years old, she won Miss Israel in 2004 and then went for Miss Universe. Gal said in an interview that she deliberately lost the contest because she didn't want to be Miss Universe at such a young age. In the end, she didn't win, but it sure helped her with the future campaigns for Gucci, Huawei, or Jaguar cars. Even though she didn't continue with modeling on a more professional level, we're sure she would have been an international supermodel. But she's now an international actress, so not that bad. Number 3. She thinks Americans are fake. Living most of her life in Israel with her family, Gal is more used to other kinds of interactions and cultural habits. In Israel, people are more real and they usually tell you if they like you or not, unlike Americans that are known to be joyful and nice only as a facade. For some people that haven't been to America, this might come as a surprise and a cultural shock having so many people be nice to you. Gal experienced this when she first came to the States and is still not 100% okay with it. She prefers her home in Israel, where people are genuine and don't put up masks just to get under your skin. However, now that she's spent some more time in America and she might be spending even more, perhaps she's more comfortable with this now. In the end, you either get used to it or you embrace it. Number 4. She plays Wonder Woman in real life. 
One of the acting moments that shaped and kind of relaunched her career was when she was cast as Wonder Woman. The movie was such a huge success and turned the whole spotlight on her. Now, with all the Avengers, X-Men, and Justice League heroes being constantly on the screen, fans were happy to see a new face and a new hero. After the movie's premiere, Gall started to attend all sorts of events, Comic-Con and interviews, where she speaks about women's empowerment, and she's actually a UN women's rights ambassador. Another noble thing she does is that she takes the Wonder Woman costume and goes to children's hospitals to comfort them or writes them motivational messages. In moments like that, her gesture means the world to them, and we think more actors should do just that. Number 5. Her net worth is only $8 million. We've mentioned so far a few things that make Gal Gadot an A-lister in Hollywood. At only 33 years old, she's already a successful woman because she has a beautiful family and a blooming career. She's made $8 million so far, and this number will grow steadily because she signed a deal for another Wonder Woman movie. So you better watch out, fans. Although she's paid only $300,000 for her staggering performance in Wonder Woman, we are confident that because of the massive success the movie has attained, she'll be able to negotiate a seven-figure contract for the next film. Although her net worth is not as big as other celebrities, she's still a millionaire, and her Wonder Woman role has massive trilogy potential, spin-offs, and collaborations. We'll be keeping a close eye on her and her fortune. Number 6. The Muslim community is not a fan of her. Being such a huge star, you would think that anyone in Israel would want to partner with her and be around her. We bet she does have a few supporters and fans in the Middle East, but as she embraced Western life and certain roles, a few consequences did come with it. Since becoming an actress and taking the role of Wonder Woman, a lot of brands piled up at Gal's store to make her the ambassador, but only a few successfully did. One of the winning brands was Revlon. They've been collaborating with her without any problems until this year. The brand is a well-known supporter of women and women's rights, so they wanted to award a Muslim blogger for her work and constant initiative to inspire women to express themselves with passion, optimism, strength, and style. Unfortunately for them, beauty blogger Amani al Katatbe rejected the award and took to Instagram to explain why. She mentioned that because Gal Gadot is the brand's ambassador and used to serve in the Israeli army, she cannot accept the award. We bet no one saw that coming, and probably brands will now think twice before partnering with her, even though she's beyond beautiful and popular. Number 7. She promoted an Android phone using an iPhone. Coming from a modeling career, doing ads and sponsorships is quite normal for Gal Gadot. She knows how to pose, what to say, how to smile, and how to emphasize a product. Since she's such a well-known actress and beautiful woman, all brands want to work with her. So far, she's done campaigns for Gucci, Jaguar Cars, Captain Morgan Rum, and Huawei. And it all went well with the last one, until somebody used the wrong phone and she took the fall for it. Gall, or someone from her team, posted a tweet with her campaign video on Twitter, but used an iPhone for it. We know that because it shows on the app, and although the tweet was deleted very fast and reposted from an Android phone, the screenshots live forever. Fans began calling her out for promoting a product she doesn't use, but her statement was that someone from her team posted the video and they use an iPhone, unlike her that doesn't. It's not the end of the world, and she could be right, but there are other celebrities that have done the same mistake in the past, so we're not 100% sure on it. Number 8. She refused to be the host of the 2019 Eurovision contest. Israel is facing a lot of controversies and has been at war with Palestine for years. Another controversy surrounding the country is whether Jerusalem is the capital city of Israel or Palestine. We're not going to fully explain the problem and political issues here that are in the region, but they might be the reason why Gal Gadot rejected the offer to host Eurovision Song Contest that will be held in Israel in 2019. 
This opportunity is usually a great deal for most people, but apparently Gal Gadot has other commitments for 2019 already. Although it would mean a lot for her country, and we're sure some money would be involved too. So far, her answer is no, and we're not sure if it's because it'll be held in Jerusalem or because she really doesn't have the time for it. There's definitely more to this story. What do you think? Number 9. She received swordsmanship, kung fu, kickboxing, capoeira, and Brazilian jiu-jitsu training in preparation for Wonder Woman. Being an actor can be a very pleasant and challenging job to have. You're always working on new projects, meeting new people, traveling, making money and learning new skills. Whether it's a new language, how to cook, how to drive, fight or handle weapons, there's plenty to choose from. Gal Gadot was challenged by her role as Wonder Woman. She had to train, gain muscle, ride a horse, use a sword, and learn how to scream louder. She also took kung fu lessons, kickboxing, capoeira, and jiu-jitsu lessons to be the perfect warrior and perform all the stunts. Although she served in the Israeli army for two years and has done other movies, this one was special, and all the months she spent training made the movie even more realistic and accurate. Number 10. She owned a hotel in Israel worth $26 million. For those of you who don't know, Gal Gadot is actually married. She met her husband at an early age and married him in 2008. He's 10 years older than she is and her biggest fan and supporter, as we can see from his Instagram account. They have two beautiful daughters, Maya and Alma, and also do business together. You know how they say, happy wife, happy life? Up until 2015, Gal and her husband Yaron Varsano owned a hotel in Tel Aviv. She put a lot of work into it and did everything she could to help run it, in spite of having to balance mom life and acting. It wasn't enough and in the end they sold the hotel to Roman Abramovich for $26 million, and rumor has it he might turn it into his Israel home. Speaking of Roman Abramovich, this Russian oligarch has quite a controversial past. We've covered him in our video, The 15 Things You Didn't Know About Roman Abramovich, so go click in the top right corner to check it out. Number 11. She reshot Wonder Woman while being five months pregnant. Gal Gadot married when she was only 23 years old. She met her husband at a party and says she knew he was the one. In spite of their 10-year age difference and their different jobs, she's an actress and he's an estate developer, they managed to stay happily married. In fact, after Wonder Woman was shot, Gal Gadot was already pregnant with her second child, Maya, and had to come in five months pregnant to reshoot some scenes. The director had to hide her bump with special effects and green screens so that viewers couldn't spot any differences because her body definitely wasn't looking the same. They did a good job because no one noticed, and we definitely have to give extra credit to Gal for being a strong woman and putting in the work while pregnant because it's not easy being pregnant and hormonal and shooting an action movie. Number 12. She's switching the roles and will produce a movie with her husband. After being in front of the camera for so many years, a lot of actors begin to develop a taste for directing and writing scripts. It's a very organic career path and some actors successfully did it, such as Angelina Jolie or Ben Affleck. In the same vein, Gal Gadot might also be switching her sword for the pen or the director's chair soon. Sources say she's partnered with Warner Brothers' Sue Kroll and her husband Yaron Varsano to produce a new film based on Peter Kornblu's article My Dearest Fidel, a journalist's secret liaison with Fidel Castro. It all sounds good, but there's more. Apparently, Narcos co-creator Chris Broncato will write the screen adaptation for the article, so the team is collaborating very nicely. It sure sounds like a good movie already, and it hasn't even started. Number 13. She's one of the highest paid actresses in Hollywood. With a fortune of $8 million and a real estate developer husband, Gal Gadot has secured a wealthy bank account for her and her family. She's currently still enjoying the love and attention from her successful movie Wonder Woman, which grossed over $800 million worldwide, and it looks like she's making more and more money out of it. It's a great time to be a superhero. 
She was recently cited by Forbes magazine as being one of the highest paid actresses in Hollywood, along with big names such as Scarlett Johansson or Emma Stone. Although she was in the last spot out of all 10 actresses, she reportedly is doing another Wonder Woman movie and has sponsorship contracts with Revlon and Reebok to cash in some extra money. People are only really getting to know her now, so in the future we will definitely hear and see more of Gal Gadot. Number 14. She always carries sweets from Israel to give around. Traveling is great because you get to see so many amazing new places and most importantly you get to eat new food and taste different flavors. Sweets and snacks do make for a great conversation starter or icebreaker because they're just like gum. Everyone wants one. And if they're from another country, even better. It's common to see people that travel a lot carry around with them sweets and snacks from their country because they want to eat them or give them to others. Well, Gal Gadot is one of those people. She always has Israeli sweets with her when she travels, and even brought a few of them when she was invited to Jimmy Fallon's Tonight Show. She introduced Fallon to milk chocolate with popping candies as one of her favorite treats from back home. They're made by Elite, Israel's top-selling candy brand, and of course, Jimmy tasted them live on the microphone so that viewers could hear how they pop. Number 15. Her roommate was raped by her friends and she didn't help her. After the Harvey Weinstein scandal that terrified everyone, more and more women were coming forward with their stories on sexual harassment, rape, and misconduct. It's shocking how unsurprisingly often this happens, and it looks like Hollywood and actors are among the predators accused of it. Some say that a witch hunt has started towards celebrities, and apparently even women are accused of not helping victims or turning a blind eye to it. Last year, a story of an alleged friend and roommate of Gal Gadot came out in which she accused her of introducing her to a rapist, even though she knew she was a victim of rape already. While Gal was in Ireland, her roommate was invited to Gal's male friend's house, and he got her drunk and raped her. When she told Gal what happened, she didn't react as expected. She shamed and accused her of exposing herself and pretty much put the blame on the poor girl. We of course don't know how accurate this story is, but it did hurt her reputation and her role model image that she's been promoting for years. With one alleged rumor, we're not condemning Gal Gadot because it could easily be a misunderstanding or propaganda. She's still a great girl, a good actress, an amazing mom. She's a real Wonder Woman, and needless to say, the IT woman of the year. She does her own stunts, she films while pregnant, and dresses as Wonder Woman to comfort sick children. Simply perfection. But enough with praising, we're curious to know what you think of Gal Gadot. Is she the real-life Wonder Woman or just a PR stunt? Let us know in the comments. Still here, huh? Of course you are, because you're a true Alexer, and for that, you get a reward. Here's your bonus. Number 16. Wonder Woman is banned in Lebanon because Gal Gadot is Israeli. When Hollywood launches a movie, they go big. World premieres, guerrilla marketing, merchandise, ads, teasers, and all sorts of crazy things just to pump up people and hype it enough so that it performs well in the box office. Wonder Woman was no exception to this rule, and people were crowding to the cinema to see it ASAP. Unfortunately for some fans, though, the movie was forbidden in Lebanon because Gal Gadot is Israeli, and they are not on good terms with the country or their citizens. Lebanon is actually at war with Israel, so the Ministry of Economy banned the movie before it was released. The government described the movie as being the Israeli soldier film, and even though it was scheduled to premiere in Lebanon at first, in the end it was banned. However, prior to Wonder Woman, other movies featuring Gal Gadot and other Israeli-born actresses such as Natalie Portman were allowed to air. Thank you for spending some time with us, Aluxer. Make sure to subscribe so you never miss a video. If you want more, we handpicked these videos you might enjoy, or head over to alux.com for the best in fine living content on the planet. Be a part of the largest community of luxury enthusiasts in the world and tell your story.